Local anesthetics reversibly block sodium channels within nerve fibers, which prevents depolarization by increasing the action potential threshold, thus blocking transmission of pain signals. There are two subtypes of local anesthetics, esters, such as procaine, which contain one eye, and amides, such as lidocaine, which contain two eyes. When esters are metabolized, they can produce an intermediate p-aminobenzoic acid, or PABA, which can cause an allergic reaction. Local anesthetics like lidocaine have a quick onset but short duration of action, whereas anesthetics like bupivacaine have a slower onset but a longer duration of action. The addition of epinephrine produces local vasoconstriction and allows higher doses to be used as the anesthetic stays locally in the tissue for a longer duration due to the delayed absorption. Epinephrine does not increase the duration of effect for bupivacaine but may decrease systemic absorption. Lidocaine has a maximum dose of 5 mg per kg without epinephrine and 7 mg per kg with epinephrine. Lidocaine comes in different concentrations with each percentage equal to 1 gram of lidocaine per 100 cc. To calculate the maximum allowable dose, we must first convert from grams to milligrams and then by canceling zeros to determine the milligrams of lidocaine per cc. For a 40 kg person, the maximum dose is 200 mg for lidocaine and 280 mg for lidocaine with epi. If 1% lidocaine were used, the total volume of anesthetic that can be given is 20 cc and 28 cc respectively. Toxicity depends on the site of injection and the speed of absorption, with inadvertent intravascular injection producing toxicity with smaller doses. Symptoms include both central nervous system and cardiovascular effects. CNS effects include perioral numbness, a metallic taste, mental status changes, visual changes, and ultimately seizures. Cardiovascular signs and symptoms include bradycardia and hypotension and can progress to ventricular arrhythmias and or asystole. Treatment includes stopping the administration, providing cardiopulmonary support, and administering lipid emulsion.